Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Right now, it's about 8.15. Nelson just left with Achilles to go to his soccer game because they have to warm up before the game. The girls are ready and dressed. They're just waiting for me to have my breakfast. They already ate. Nelson already took all the soccer gear. Um, and all I have to do is just, you know, finish eating breakfast and then we'll head out with the girls. That way they don't have to be there earlier. They could just get there for the game. I'll have to leave midway his game because the little one has an earlier game today. So I'll have to leave his around halftime and then go to hers. And then we come back for a break and then we go for the oldest game. During our break this afternoon, I'm gonna have to pack some clothes because we're heading down to my mom's house, all of us. We're staying the night tonight because she's got these drapes that she volunteered to sew um, for her church. However, because you know of her surgery and everything, she's a little bit too weak and she can't take care of it all. And um, she can't find anybody else um, at the church available to go ahead and sew them. So I'm just gonna go down and sew them for her. So I'm bringing my sewing machine and a few things. That way I have enough supplies um, to help her with that. So we're going to be heading down that way tonight. So there's a lot of things to do and I've got to get started. So that's what's on the agenda today. The um, oven is set at 205 right now. Nelson already um, took the, what's it called? Um, brisket. <laughs> the brisket out. It's in the oven and um, it's just going to stay there on 205 until he gets back. We'll check on it make sure everything's nice and cooked. But it had apparently a ni nice smoke on it, he said, so we're looking forward to eating that this afternoon. So we just got back from two soccer games. Nelson is checking on the brisket right now, making sure it's up to temperature. We are going to pack for my parents' house, as well as um, get some lunch on the table for the kids during this time, because we should be leaving right after the last soccer game. So my oldest still has her match to play. And uh, that's what we're doing right now. So right now I'm heating up the pot for lunch. Last night's pork chops, they had a ton of liquid still left over and a lot of good um, tomatoes and carrots and still had that garlic and onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and reheat this. Add a little bit of these in here or probably the whole thing because we'll eat them all. Add this package into the sauce and then I'm gonna saute some mushrooms really fast to add a little bit of protein in it since we pretty much ate most of the meat inside of it. And then there was a little bit of rice left over that the kids wanted on the side, they can have it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. So we went ahead and had lunch, cleaned everything off the stove and all the dishes. I already have the dishwasher running. The brisket is still in the oven because it hasn't come up to temperature. I have this right here. My mom gifted it to me a little while back and it's basically just gonna keep it nice and warm while we travel down there. So we have it out here and when it's ready to take over, we'll put it in here. This actually has a lid. We'll put this lid on top of here so that it's nice and protected and then we'll just cover this up and take it with us. So I went down to the studio and I got my sewing machine, my cutting mat, and then I have this little plastic container that has like a little candle. And in it I have the pedal, my straight edge, my scissors, my rotary cutter. I have some additional pens. I've got, I don't know what these are called, but y'all know what these are. <laughs> I got some thread, I got my um, measuring tape, so 
I'm just gonna take everything that I usually use whenever I'm sewing so that I don't have to look around anywhere in my mom's house. I know she's got a lot of this stuff, but I'm kind of used to having my own things and it'll just make the process much easier if I just bring everything down. So I'll close this up and finish packing. So most of everything is packed up. The brisket's still in the oven and I've got a video uploading um, for this weekend. So we're gonna come back after my daughter's game just to make sure that everything's okay with my video. And then we'll deal with the brisket then, pack it up, put it in the car and then take it with us. And that is the dishwasher that's really loud. Um, but yeah, we just have, everything is already packed. We just have to come back and then unload the chairs from the soccer game and then load whatever's left that we haven't put in the trunk already. All right, so we just got back from soccer and Nelson already divided up what we're taking to my mom's over there. And he's just having himself a little snack. Mm. So good. Look at that, it's coming apart. Just pulling it apart. Give me a good shot of it. So we got back real quick and this little guy was eating a what, a fruit roll up? Yeah. <laughs> and he lost a molar. <laughs> my first molar. That's right. So now you get to put it underneath your pillow. Yeah. So we made it to my parents' house and I'm actually a little bit out of breath because <laughs> I just ran up the stairs. But I got here and my dad was actually working. He's still not home yet. Um, my mom was here, but we've been with my mom. I came in and I bathed the kids because they were obviously all sweaty and stuff from soccer. We had dinner and then um, I was cleaning up the kitchen. My mom wanted some dessert, so I went out to a local grocery store to get some stuff for us to eat. We had dessert and now I am about to take a shower because it is late. And we're just waiting for my dad to get home from work. And I'm actually in my room right now, my high school room. This is, it's really purple. I have some really old pictures of myself that my mom put up there after I moved out. Um, that is my very, very 80s like dresser and vanity. It's kind of messy because we were doing the girl's hair and drying it and all that stuff, but. Um, so I guess I'll show you some very embarrassing pictures of me when I was young. Why not? So that right there was my first communion. That was a picture of me. God, I don't know what that was. Was it second, third grade maybe? I think this one might have been first. I'm not sure, but that's me with the really big bangs because my mom used to love really big bangs. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but uh, my girls don't have any bangs. <laughs> and then this right here, I know there's a glare, but that, I can't remember if that was my junior or my senior. I think that might have been my junior. No, yeah, that's right, because I had, obviously, I had senior pictures. Of course it is. That was my junior picture from school. Yeah, there's a glare. I don't know if I can, let's see if I can zoom in. There you go, yep. That was me, 17. And apparently I really liked purple back in the day. So this is a picture of me and my younger sister. I think she might have been in kindergarten. I was, I think that might have been third grade. I'm not sure. But check this out. Is it a picture? 
or is it somehow engraved in wood? Look at that. Wood picture. It's the same. There's no scene. It's like somehow embedded in the wood. Yeah, no, my dad got that made. I don't even know where he got those frames made. How did you but... get that? It's embedded in the wood. I know. Apparently my husband's fascinated. But yeah, that was me again with the big bangs. I'm telling y'all, my mom loved this stuff. And this was my dad and my mom. I guess this was about almost 30 years ago. Look at that set of hair. Oh my gosh. He's going to get you for that. Anyways, that was my dad and my mom. And then over here is all four of us. Who do I look like, y'all? Just, I'm curious. Who in do the, I look like? In the wood. Oh, stop. So, that's it for today. I need to take a shower and get some rest because tomorrow is a really busy day. Since I'm going to be helping my mom sew a whole bunch of stuff. So, I need my rest. So, this is where I sign out and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for following along today. Until then, adios.